Squashes and pumpkins are among the most thrilling vegetables you can grow. It's the speed with which they do it. One minute the young seedlings are tentatively pushing through and then bosh, just a few weeks later, they're great sprawling monsters with masses of leafy foliage and plenty of fruits. I also love the fact they're so easy to grow, as long as you can keep up with their insatiable appetite that is. So let's get on and find out the very best way to grow them. Squash varieties come in all sorts of shapes, patterns and sizes, but fall into one of two categories, winter squash or summer squash. Winter squash are harvested in one go at the end of the growing season to provide a feast of fruits to enjoy over the winter months. They include favourites like butternut squash, spaghetti squash and the myriad of pumpkins. Summer squash are harvested throughout the summer and include, for example, zucchini or courgettes and patty pan and crookneck squashes. Squash are either trailing or bushy. Trailing squash can be left to sprawl over the soil surface or trained up onto trellising or wire mesh. For really big pumpkins though, it's best to leave stems to sprawl. They will send down extra roots as they spread to take up even more of those valuable nutrients and moisture. Squash love a warm, sunny and sheltered spot, ideal conditions for good pollination and proper fruit development. The plants are hungry feeders and need a rich, fertile soil. Any soil can be improved by burrowing on lots of well-rotted compost or manure, or create planting pockets by digging out a hole for each plant at least two weeks before sowing or planting. Fill the hole with a mixture of soil and compost or manure and top with a handful of organic fertilizer. Smaller varieties of summer squash may also be grown in containers that are at least 18 inches or 45 centimetres wide. Sow squash directly where they are to grow after your last frost date. Sow two seeds to each position, then thin the seedlings to leave the strongest. Pop a jar, cloche or cold frame over the sowing area to help speed up germination. A more reliable alternative is to sow into pots under cover. Sow one seed per pot, about an inch or two centimetres deep. Germinate in the warmth at around 60 to 68 Fahrenheit or 15 to 20 Celsius. Sowings like this can be made up to a month before your last frost date to give good sized plants by planting out time. You may need to pot the quick growing seedlings on into larger pots before it's safe to move them outside. Most garden stores and nurseries also sell ready to plant seedlings Handy if you only want to grow a few plants. Set your plants out after all danger of frost has passed. Start to acclimatise them to the outside conditions two weeks beforehand. Leave them out during the day for increasingly longer periods, then from the second week, overnight in a shelter position. Plant trailing varieties up to 5 foot or 1.5 metres apart and bush types about 3 foot or 90 centimetres apart. Thoroughly water plants in to settle the soil around the root ball. Keep plants well watered to encourage rapid growth. You can make watering easier by sinking 6 inch or 15 centimeter pots alongside plants. The pots will hold on to the water and deliver it through the drainage holes to where it's needed, at the roots. Mulch around plants with organic matter to help lock in valuable soil moisture and contribute additional nutrients. Stems of especially vigorous varieties can be pegged down at regular intervals to keep them within their allotted space. Larger fruits, particularly pumpkins, should be lifted off the soil, for instance onto tiles, to stop them rotting as they develop. Harvest zucchini and summer squash as soon as they are the size you need. Pick often to encourage more fruits to follow. Winter squash and pumpkins are harvested in the autumn before the first frosts usually when the foliage has started to die back or become infected by powdery mildew as here. Cut either side of the stem to leave a T-shaped stub. Avoid the temptation to use the stem as a handle as it could detach from the fruit and serve as an entry point to rot. Move fruits to a warm, dry and sunny spot to cure. Curing hardens the skin ready for storage. If it's already turned cold and damp outside, cure fruits in a greenhouse or on a sunny windowsill. Winter squash and pumpkins will store for up to six months at room temperature. And there you have it, growing squashes to be proud of is really very straightforward. 
As ever, we welcome your experiences of growing these rambunctious veggies. Drop us a comment below to let us know what varieties you'd recommend and to share any tips for growing bigger, bolder fruits. Check that you're subscribed too, and if you're not, I invite you to join us today. You'll catch all of our latest guides to growing success and will be made to feel very welcome by our family of like-minded gardeners. I'll catch you next time.